Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. In this video, I wanted to talk about some going back to work essentials, I guess um, you could call it, because I know a lot of us have been staying at home due to quarantine reasons and all of that stuff. But you know, in the next few weeks, some of us may be going back to work. So for me, during this time, it was a little bit weird and probably unusual. I changed jobs during this whole COVID-19 thing and needing to work from home. With this change, I actually did need to go back to work and now I am working in the office and we're practicing social distancing, like sitting really far away from each other and stuff like that. But in this new role and kind of the new work environment where a lot of people may be going back to work um, physically part time and kind of split between being in the office and working from home. I recognize that that might be something I might be doing myself. I'm not quite sure yet at this time, but I did want to be prepared with some um, I guess you could say essentials like a laptop bag and that kind of stuff in case I did need to bring things home. It might sound a little bit weird, but I actually haven't had a laptop bag of my own for quite some time now. I did have like laptop sleeves and at the company that I used to work for, I had a logo laptop bag, but it had their company logo on it and I thought it might be a little bit weird to continue to use that at my new job. So I decided I should invest in one that was totally my own that's not labeled by a specific company logo or anything like that although I do think those are great if your company gives that kind of stuff out to you guys or if you can purchase it from the company store I think that's a great way to represent the business that you work for um, but for myself since I didn't really have anything to use and I was kind of going back and forth between a couple of locations at the end of the day I thought it would be more useful for me to have a laptop bag um, just so I could transport things safely I was putting it in this like random tote that may not have been the best thing to carry it in because there's no way to protect my laptop i was just kind of like dumping a bunch of stuff in there i actually had a really hard time trying to make up my mind which laptop bag i wanted to get to be honest with you i didn't want to spend too much money on it but i ended up spending more money than i hoped to so let me show you the bag that i got there's still a bunch of wrapping on it because it came in the other day and really all i did was take it out of the box but it's this bag right here. I think you pronounce the name of the company Dagny Dover. I actually went online and looked up a bunch of other videos to see how people were saying the name um, because I don't know, when I look at it, I feel like it confuses me a little bit. So in this video, I wanted to show you a little bit of an unboxing. Um, we can take a look inside, see what kind of pockets are in here. And I also have my laptop, some notebooks and a pencil case, um, the normal stuff that I'd probably carry with myself and put in here so that we can see how that fits in here and you can see for yourself if a bag like this will work for you before we get started i just wanted to let you know that this is the weston laptop bag in the large size so it's supposed to fit a 15 inch laptop and i got it in the black color i actually was really hoping to get this like light blue color but they're sold out and i felt more like i needed a laptop bag sooner rather than later and i didn't know when they were going to restock so i ended up going with black also the regular price for this bag is 155 dollars which is much much more than i was hoping to spend i was hoping to spend like 25 to 40 dollars or something like that but at the end of the day i thought that this would be a little bit more of an investment for me it is supposed to be water resistant and the reason why i chose the 15 inch laptop my work like my company laptop is not 15 inches but i do have a 15 inch macbook in case i am you know trying to do something for like personally um, and I was needing to take my laptop somewhere. Okay, so um, here are the zippers to open it up. This actually looks super sturdy. It's like a huge zipper. Um, I'll just take that piece off and open it up. You can also see on the sides that there are these uh, D-rings where you can attach a strap to and the strap is inside. So here is the strap that you can attach to the outside of the bag. I'll probably do that later and um, Dagny Dover has another laptop bag style with longer handles like this. Um, it looks like you can fit that one over your shoulder, but because this bag also comes with the longer strap, I decided to get like these smaller handles and I feel like this is how I'd actually carry it more often anyway, like instead of over my shoulder. But if I did want to put it over my shoulder, I could use the longer strap. So on the back of the bag, sorry, it's black, <laughs> so it's a little bit hard to see. There's a smaller pocket up here that I think a cell phone can fit in. I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, so it is kind of huge. Um, 
but it does fit in there i don't know if this is like the largest cell phone out on the market but it's definitely the largest cell phone i've ever owned i mean it's like it's bigger than my hand that's super crazy but um anyways if you have one of those phones or anything smaller obviously it will fit in this um, pocket up here so there appears to be like some kind of pocket here but as i'm looking at it, it actually goes straight through the bag so i think this is more so if you're traveling and you want to put this on your luggage while you're wheeling it around on the air uh, in the airport i think that's what that's made for so don't try to put anything in here because it will fall right through all right well i thought it might be a little bit easier to show you the bag this way instead of holding it up um, and I think this different angle lets you see the inside a little bit more. So back here, you can see this zippered pocket where you can, you know, keep some items safe and zipped up. There are also two pretty large pockets here um, next to each other and a little strap that you can attach keys or something to in case, you know, you don't want to dig around in your bag to look for them. On the other side, maybe I'll turn this around. On the other side, um, this is where you would put your laptop. Sorry, maybe I should take that tissue out. Right, so there's a little Velcro closure that will keep your laptop nice and safe in there. There's another pocket right here. You could probably put like a notebook or something like that. There's little pockets for pens and uh, maybe cards, business cards or something that you could put over here. Um, and then a larger pocket, obviously you can fit, you know, a bunch of other things, uh, larger notebooks and all of that. So let me just put some things in here to show you what that looks like. All right, so I packed up this bag with pretty much everything I could imagine wanting to carry with me. Um, so I have my MacBook back here um, in the laptop pocket and we could close that up if we wanted to with this velcro strap um, but I'll, I'll show you what else i have in here too in this pocket right here i have this um, notebook that i use for my bullet journal i did put a couple of pens right here but i also threw my whole pencil case in here because normally i carry more than just two pens but if i were going to a seminar or workshop i'd probably just take a couple of pens with me to travel a little bit lighter um, but here's my pencil case just in case. I also have this um, calendar. So this is a monthly calendar where I track um, videos I want to post and all that kind of stuff. I also put a small water bottle in here and this definitely makes the bag feel a lot heavier. So I'll leave it up to you guys if that's something that you normally would want to carry with you. I have my Kindle in this pocket right here. I don't know what happened to it, but um, I have my Kindle in this pocket and also a smaller notebook next to it in the two um, pockets right down here. I did not put anything in this zippered pocket, but um, I guess I could put my phone in there for reference. So phone and yeah, that's what the inside of this bag looks like when you have most of what you need in here. Um, you guys definitely might carry a little bit more than me, like maybe you have a composition notebook or something larger that you wanna put in here. That would totally work. Um, this is a 15 inch laptop. It's literally touching both sides. So I think that's something good to mention if, um, you know, I don't, I don't know, sometimes I feel like laptops, even though they say 15 inch, like the actual laptop may be a little bit bigger or smaller just depending on what brand you get. So this uh, MacBook fits in there like it just makes it. So I do think that this was a good option for me to get because I think my work laptop's a 13 inch, so I should be safe using you know this bag for both computers. And that's all I have in this bag. It's super heavy, you guys. I am not sure if in real life I would put my water bottle in there. And I think, you know, with everything that I have in there right now, just for reference, I would probably put this shoulder strap on there and carry it on my shoulder instead. I am sitting down, so that's probably also why it feels a little bit heavier when I'm lifting it up next to my face. Whereas, you know, normally when you're carrying a bag like this, your arms like probably extended. But anyway, just wanted to let you know, um, as reference, the bag is not super duper lightweight for obvious reasons. One thing is that it's made out of neoprene, but two, there are a lot of pockets and all that kind of stuff going on inside. So there's definitely a lot of fabric that went into making this bag. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up about that in case you are a person who packs a little bit more um, as you are you know, going to work or traveling around and that kind of stuff. But I personally don't carry laptop bags for like long distances unless I'm going to some kind of workshop or seminar for the day. But even then, a lot of times you're sitting down and you may only be carrying this like from room to room or to your car and that kind of stuff. So 
um, yeah, I hope that was helpful for you. All right, you guys, well, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope that it gave you a better idea of this laptop bag to see if it might be something that you're interested in getting. I know it definitely is a little bit more on the pricey side, but it, I think it's always a good reference to see. I have a hard time when I just read like 13 inch laptop bag or 15 inch laptop bag and what that means. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.